So let's jump in. This is the salt dough recipe that I used and all you have to do is make sure that you use equal quantities of all the ingredients. Here is the dough that I had used. I'd made it earlier and put it in the fridge. So it's um, it's just easier to use if you put it in the fridge for a while beforehand. So all you need to do is roll your dough out and cut your shapes out. And if anyone wants to know where I got um, anything that you see me using in here, there will be a link to my blog at the end. And in my blog there's a link to my Amazon shop where I link to products um, similar or the same as the ones that I use in my videos. Now, I tried a couple of different ways of baking my salt dough and this particular way wasn't very successful as you can see. Um, I used a microwave technique for these and I haven't got the patience to stand there and do sort of 10 seconds at a time like the book that I used said you were supposed to do. So I overcooked mine and they ended up all puffed up and flaky and so I had to throw them away. The second lot I did in the oven and if you do them between two and a half and three hours on uh, 100 degrees centigrade, um, they come out perfect. They, they, they'll be flat and hard and um, you can see here that you can actually sand them if they're not smooth enough. And then all you do is paint them. Um, you can see me using gold metallic paint here. Um, I've already painted some of them red as you can see. I also used acrylic paint with stamps. And you will see here in a moment, if you don't like what you've done, you can just wipe it off with a baby wipe while it's still wet. Or you can just paint over it which is what you'll see me do in a second. I wasn't happy with what I did on on these ones. So it's just really easy to get rid of your mistakes. Yeah, I don't I didn't like those. So I painted over them. And then just let it dry and then have another go. This one I was happy with, and you'll see in a moment I just added a metallic heart in the space at the bottom. And as I said, I will have all this kind of stuff in my Amazon.com shop. I'll put a link to my blog at the end. Um, you can use, to, to glaze these, you can use things like glossy accents, diamond glaze, or as I'm using here, Anita's clear gloss. Some of them I did put a thick coat on like this, but others I just painted with a couple of layers. Yeah, see this one, um, I didn't... I didn't like how this came out, so this is another one that I just wiped off. <laughs> I'm not keen on these at all. Um, I, I normally wouldn't actually even show the video of a project that I wasn't happy with. But I, I decided that I would publish this because I think it is good for people to see that, um, you know, when crafters are experimenting and kind of designing a new project, I think it's good for people to see the things that do go wrong. And although I was sort of reasonably happy with, with some of the decorations on these, I wasn't particularly happy with this one. I think it's awful, to be honest. Um, and normally I just would just throw it in the bin. But, you know, I think it's good to let people see, um, you know, the failures as well as the things that we're pleased with. 
and most of these pendants are too thick and chunky for my taste. You know, some people may like them. Uh, this one was thinner. Um, this one was a thick one. I don't, I don't mind this one so much. And I quite like this heart because it's thin. And I, I don't mind the black ones that are chunky either. It's just, I think the big oval ones I didn't, I wasn't keen on. Yeah, so you can use a range of uh, varnishes to go on these. So, thank you for watching. I hope you join me next time when I will show you how I, what I did with the things that I learned from this, the mistakes I made. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get updates of all my new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.